Hello. And welcome back to my channel. This is how you can unlock the brand new schematics or any other, and expo with rare items in the new Dark Eater while keeping your tombstone with all your duplicated items as well as your max money. The best part is that you can do this completely solo or with the squad if you choose. I'm going to give you a full guide on how to do this, I'm assuming you already have a tombstone on your map, so you can go ahead and use the items that you have in your inventory to get set up for this. You're going to take everything out of your old tombstone, and what you now have in your inventory is what will be saved in your future tombstone for your next game. I have uncommon ether tool schematics saved in mine and I'm going to show you how I unlock it. I also equipped a rival 9 SMG that I do not have unlocked yet, so I can prove to you that I am unlocking the gun while keeping my tombstone as well. I would also recommend that you put two elder sigils and two blood burner keys in your inventory so that you can duplicate one of each of them after this, you will need one for this in order to activate the dark ether portal and do the glitch. The only perk that you will need for this is tombstone. You don't need any other perks because you're going to lose them when going into the dark ether. You want to make way over to this location on the map. Now that we are in this location on the map, first I will show you the exact steps so you know exactly what to do. So when you drive the blood burner onto water and get off of it, the bike will teleport back onto land wherever you left it. You will need to get off of the bike and then quickly get back on so that you teleport with the bike like you see here, so you get the entire glitch perfect parked exact in the same spot like you see me doing right here, and you're going to drive into the water. You will also need to be looking at the bike before you get off of it, otherwise it'll teleport without you. But as you can see, if you put everything together you will teleport back with the bike right into this spot. Now the out of bounds barrier is this big flat rock this is the landmark to use for finding the out of bounds efficiently so you know where to go to get the timing perfectly. Now you should have the tombstone perk equipped, all the items that you want to duplicate, and the blood burner in this location, and now you're ready to go to start the glitch. From this spot, you want to drive into the water and follow the river. You want to make sure that you do not touch any land at this point while driving to the tier 3 zone or it will mess up the glitch, so just stay right in the middle of the water so you don't get into the shallow parts at all. Now keep following this path along the river until we get over to the bridge going to the tier 3 zone, it is important to park your bike exactly where I do, on the rock so that it will teleport correctly. You're going to get off of the bike and just scorcher to the dark ether portal, you then going to get as close to the activation prompt as possible, and you're going to charge up your scorcher. You want to hold down the button to use Elder Sigil, literally the moment before you launch that you activate it in the air to give yourself the most amount of time. You're going to activate the portal and then scorcher back over to your blood burner and you're going to get onto the bike. Then you're going to back up into the water, and once you're in deep water, you're going to look at the bike, get off of it, then quickly get back on so that you'll be on the bike when it teleports. It will then take you back to that same spot on the map, and sometimes you may be under the map. All you have to do is just get off of the bike and it'll spawn you normally back on top of the ground. At this point you can go to the flat rock I showed you earlier and you will open up your map to vote yes to teleport. Anyways, when the timer on your screen is switching from 7 to 6 or right as the 6 is showing, you are going to go out of bounds and wait for the game to teleport you then eliminate you. After that you should just wait. If you're doing it with teammates all they need is just gonna go to any out of bounds spot on the map. It actually doesn't matter where, but just pick a spot where right when you walk one step forward, that out of bounds timer goes the same time. Then your teammates are gonna go out of bounds at the exact same time, that 7 switching to 6 seconds. You're going to hear the squad eliminated, and then everybody will die. Now everybody just set their tombstones. Now we go in the dark ether. We have our weapons, we have everything but our essence, which is saved in our tombstone and our perks, which that's how it actually sets. So now you're going to use that to go to the expo. You can actually play anything you want, you can go collect schematics, any of that will work absolutely fine. Here we are on the way to the expo. This works for anything as well as it's going to reset your tombstone. So you can see everything will work this way you can unlock schematics, weapons, this way you can unlock your camos if you need to exfil successfully missions, any of that, anyway this will work as a successful expo. And then lastly, I want to show you that when we came back, we actually had our tombstone. So that allows us to keep our tombstone run the dark ether as a solo or a full squad. This works across PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Thank you for watching my video, like and subscribe if this video helped you.